What's up guys? Welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're on to episode number 22 and our name is Krusty today. Uh, as you can see, I'm Musty with a tortilla chip. Yep, these names just keep getting better. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Uh, in the last two episodes, we had someone super toxic and then someone super ball chaser. So I'm sure we're going to get something spicy in this episode as well. What? <laughs> what, is what is going on? Who's playing for what team? What is happening? Um, and uh, I believe we're almost in a diamond two. Yeah, we're division four of diamond one. So probably one more win to get us into diamond two. We should start pushing up uh, the middle of diamond rank here. Uh, we're moving up pretty nicely, though. We're at episode 22 out of the whole thing. And, and honestly, I feel like we could get to Super Sonic Legend by, like, episode 40. So we're looking pretty good. And if you want to keep it up to date with the episodes, make sure you go watch through. I basically am going to continue the rank no matter if a season starts or restarts. So um, let's get into the next episode here and see how the games go. We got Anakin Thighwalker on our team. This is a great combo, honestly. Um, also, just a quick thing. If you haven't subscribed yet uh, and you do enjoy the daily uploads and uh, you want to see um, you know, more daily content, feel free to subscribe. It's free, you know, if you want to. Let's get into the, the, the uh, commentary here. Bit of a miss from Anakin Thighwalker. That's okay. Maybe his thighs need to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to try and pop this off the backboard and see if my teammate's ready for it. He's a little bit far. Bit of a dangerous commit, but it works out. I'll take the mid boost, even though I probably could have given that to my my teammate. Right here, I see that the, uh, the opponent kind of gave the ball away. Let's pop it middle. See if Ziffix pops it over. Good challenge. I can immediately turn on this. If I hit this off the wall pretty hard, it could go back to my teammate, but he's obviously like not positioned for that, so a little bit rough, but ends up working out. Alec pulls it to the side. Good boost steal. This mid boost will comp it just now, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I mean, he shouldn't really have touched that since I'm right there, but I'm surprised that guy went. I'm just trying to take some time, make sure I'm staying patient. You can see that works out. Also, right here, he uh, gave me a free ball, and we'll score it. So that really, really good touch off the corner. Popped it out really quick mid, and uh, I believe the other teammate, yeah, Zifix was way out of position grabbing the other corner boost. So I didn't really need to even be there. I think it would have just rolled in on its own. So really all of the work from, from Anakin Thighwalker, what a name. Honestly, he's got a better name than me. I wish I had that one. All right, so he pops it towards the net. Make it clear to the side. There's definitely better places you can place that because it goes right to Zifix. Um, at a higher level, I would push that, you know, behind his car when he's pushing up. Right here, I'm just going to wait on the wall. See what happens. See if my teammate gets a touch. Good job. So now I'm going to stay here. I'm going to flick it off backboard. Anakin Thighwalker should beat him if he goes. Nice. Good challenge. Oh, this could be good too. That's all right. Pop off the corner. Early challenge from a teammate puts me in a weird spot because now i got to wait. And he's in the net. So i got to be a little bit careful. I'm going to shadow a little bit. And there we go. It's okay if I get bumped. Obviously, I could have made that play a little bit faster. But uh, this is Diamond 1. <laughs> Not Super Sonic Legends. So I'm going to move behind. Right here. It's a little bit dangerous. But there's lots of space. You can still you can let the ball come to you and then make a boom. And you can see these high booming backboard clears confuse the opponent. Let's see what my teammate does. It's really important to watch what my teammate's doing. I'm watching him right now. I'm looking at the corner. I know a lot of you guys have asked for me to do an eye tracker in the future. Also, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do face cam of my videos. Because I've been really contemplating doing it. Just because I can be a little more, you know, um, you know, my personality can come out a little more. And I can kind of, you know, explain my thoughts. I shouldn't have taken that boost, by the way, but that's okay. He kind of passed that ball right to me and I'm just going to take a shot. Um, in that situation, he should have stayed close with the ball um, instead of popping it to me. But right here, this sharp turn kind of just pops the ball away, and he drives away, too. So he didn't even look like he was intending to stay with the ball. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you guys want to see face cam. I can definitely bring it in. Uh, it just means I have to shower before all the videos. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes I'm recording this at like 7 a.m. Sometimes I'm recording at like 3 a.m. So it never really... Uh, <laughs> you never really know with my recordings, especially these solo videos, because I, I don't have much time on my own to do these kind of videos. Great shot from my teammate there. Right there was a free shot for me. I'm the one coming in with more power. I could have made a shot towards net. Um, right here, it's not the greatest challenge because it goes right to Alec, but let's see what he does. I'm going to sit behind where he can chip it. Right here, I'm going to fake him a little bit. Pop it over one. Get a 50-50 here. Oh, he didn't go. That's a good fake. That's sort of what I've been what I've been trying to like reinforce in... Uh, 
in these videos is like the fake challenges. Okay, my teammate bumped me because he's trying to bump the other guy, but I should be able to get it here first. Good challenge. This Zifix guy is pretty good. Even though it was him who, uh, who was the one who went for that boost deal. <laughs> Which is why it confuses me. I'm going to pop this middle see my teammate wants to get in on the action. I feel like Zifix is a higher rank than the other guy. I don't know. It's clear to the side. Would have obviously hit that again, but once again, this is diamond, so I don't want to make sure. I want to make sure I don't look too suspicious. See if Alec wants this. It's an interesting path for my teammate. It's a little bit dangerous to go for that corner boost when uh, the other person's playing into the corner. Let's see what see what happens here. He's gonna flick it over back on the corner. Yeah, this Zifix guy I think is higher ranked. I can tell by the way he's moving. He might be like C C1 or something. Yeah, stay with this. Yeah, it was a that was an open net for me, but my teammate I can see my teammate being pretty aggressive. So I I instead just back off, like I talked about. So I think we might have a smurf on our hands, honestly. See yeah, I, I think he's definitely like higher rank. Okay. Oh. Let's see what he's got. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for Zifix. Okay, nice try. And I have a free ball to clear down the, the wall. Uh, honestly, I could have stayed with that a little more if I wanted to. Um, but I decided to just boom it forward because we're up two goals. It's going to be a clear from Alex. I'm going to go behind my teammate. Wait for him here. Still not even dangerous. Once again, just like red light, green light. Always reinforcing that idea of challenging or not. And there we go. Honestly, I feel like Zifix was kind of carrying his teammate, but I have no idea. Either the other guy is super low ranked or this Zifix guy is higher ranked. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why. Okay, so Diamond 2, Division 1. Nice. I, I wouldn't say Zifix, like, looked Diamond 2. He looked a little bit faster. I mean, maybe he's just playing fast. But he's making a lot of mistakes. Like, Zifix went for that back corner boost. Making pretty decent saves, though. Overall, we're looking pretty good, though. Moving into Diamond 2, Division 1. And, uh, I don't know. I don't really know if he was a smurf. I don't feel like it was. But just, like, comparatively to Alec, obviously, because he's platinum. Uh, looked a little bit slower. <laughs> Oh, these names, man. We're, we got some good names down here. We don't really see this kind of stuff in Super Sonic Legend. You kind of you kind of get like, you know, Arsenal or Lethemir or Chicago. Not like Pussy <laughs> Demon. Like, come on, man. That's pretty. That's pretty funny. You get to appreciate it. Oh, this guy's just nasty. It's a good good play. Nice little pop. A little bit of a bump from uh, the Demon Demon Boy. Good chip in by uh, fella, and a good pop as well. Let's see if we can uh, get a good 50-50 here. Good. It pops off the wall, which gives me a free touch. I'll jump up for this and try to take a shot. Nice. There we go. So that that first touch, I made sure to like hit the brakes a little bit when I hit the ball right here. You can see it. You can you can barely see it, but I made a break to. Uh, to, like make the ball jump a little bit closer to me than the opponent. See what happens here off this kickoff. The Mushu should take a collection to the back corner, which is smart. Not a big fan of him bringing it over the net, but hopefully he stays controlled. That's good. So that's a bad touch from the opponent because now I can make a shot. See if they can save it. Nice save. So right there, I'm trying to aim for that bottom curve. And there we go. Um, so the, the reason why the, these goals are so open is because of the placement of this touch right here. I hit it off that curve and it bounces perfectly in a minute. It kind of feeds it into me. And that's just the overall like experience of knowing how to hit the ball off those curves to make them the ball move in a certain way. Is aiming to like hit the ball in a bounce that'll work in the future. Not just hitting the ball for the sake of hitting the ball. That's a good challenge from him. It's a good shot. Well played by the opponents. Um, right there, I think. Yes, yeah, so let me see where my teammate. Okay, so my teammate missed the boost and then couldn't challenge, and then he was kind of late. Um, obviously, I also could have just jumped, but I don't want. I want to appreciate good shots when they come in at this rank because they're few and far between. I'll go for a flick here. I'll fake this as well because he's got a challenge that's going to be in a bad spot if I go. It's a good demo. Smart play. Okay, so it's awkward, awkward ball here. 
the key is to stay with that off the off the demo and make sure you don't um you don't go to net because they could take a shot you want to make sure you block it there we go just put it to the corner okay interesting play interesting play <laughs> this uh this demon guy is very very bumpy a bit of a fake too he might just score oh nice yeah so that that's the aggression uh that's going to bite you in the butt if you try to do that too much you end up driving up so close for a fake challenge and the fake challenge actually doesn't even work because he's not actually committing at the point where he needs to i'll let him try to stay with the 50 50 it's a good try okay miss so once he misses i'm gonna go behind the ball and that's way too high for his teammate Can he score? Oh, nice try. So right here, I'm going to pop it to the side. Um, it's a little open, obviously, but... Stay with the 50-50. Teammate's pretty far behind. I was hoping that that would feed in mid for him, but it's okay if he's not there. It's a good challenge. See if Mushu stays with it. Good fake. Can he score? Nice. Well played. Teammate's doing really well. I don't have to do too much. Really good collection. He brings it in the field and then fakes it and then makes a fella kind of fly at the net. Um, he says, what a save. A little, a little mad about his teammate. Good challenge. So Mushu's going to get his boost stolen. He's staying with the ball though. So I was going to take the back corner boost, but he chose to be aggressive, which I'm not used to because in that situation where you're low, you don't really want to be challenging, but make a good challenge to the corner. Wait, where's fella going? I think he gave up because, yeah, because uh, maybe they're arguing in their team chat. What is happening with this guy, too? <laughs> oh, nice. Interesting. This guy's, this guy's taking full control. There we go. They ended up passing it to me for some reason. And... <laughs> These guys are arguing. All right, let's silent him a little bit. One teammate, can you get up there? Uh, I think this game's uh, <laughs> this game is uh, kind of over, so we're gonna move on. Yeah, so this is uh, I don't know how much, how often, honestly, do you guys get this kind of experience? Because <laughs> this is like not very often in the series so far, but you know what? Let's make it interesting. Okay, he saved it. <laughs> My teammate won't even let me score. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and play for the other team. <laughs> this is so weird. What is going on? Oh, who's playing for what team? What is happening? I don't understand. What? <laughs> what is go what is going on? Dude, what is happening? I'm playing for the orange team. <laughs> Can someone please explain what is happening in this ranked game right now? Fella is sitting in defending our net. <laughs> I am so confused. Fella would rather see the world would rather see the world burn. All right, let's make this happen real quick. Let's, let's score. Don't save it! No! Stop it! No! I can't score. I think I'm playing for orange. This guy's not even playing anymore. Dude, what a weird ranked game. What the heck? <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. What just happened? <laughs> I I can't explain. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? I honestly think that will go down in history of the Road to Supersonic Legends series as the weirdest ranked game 
like I don't even know how to title this video at this point because I don't know how to explain okay I, I just realized also that I was I was doing too much so I stopped and then that confused them so wow I, I will admit this is being recorded at 6 a.m. and I haven't slept because I literally can't sleep right now I don't know why um, and this is the kind of ranked games you get I guess but yeah um, Mushu's back for a vengeance I can't even remember if he was on my team last game or what was happening I I lost track I'm also just shooting open nets which is not good because he kind of well I mean he kind of passed it to me at this situation I really should be scoring that because he just threw it across if he wants to keep that safe he should put that near the boost right, right, right where he is right now um, but he pops it out to me instead so nice and quick start we got two goals up we'll slow it down a little bit now but right here you want to take this boost and steal it at least I'll, I'll back off but I could pressure that since I have full right here I'll just back off again move by my teammate right here see how I'm watching in mid instead I'm not going to net because the threat is out in the middle of the field so don't go to net there don't default to net the balls popping good save guy throws away the ball now I can let the ball roll to me and go into the corner pop it over one with that little touch pop it towards net and see what happens here oh he ended up on going <laughs> okay okay so he owned gold um right there that one little simple touch to keep the ball possession and then here i'm just popping out mid um just puts it towards target it's gonna be difficult at a diamond level or even like you know high like low champ i mean uh to deal with like those balls that are over top of your head um what I would suggest is trying to get used to those in defense situation, defensive situations in like training packs and stuff. Just pop it around the opponent. I'll move behind. Seems my teammate doesn't need this boost, so I'll take it. It's a good fake. So right here, I'm gonna stay close. I bounce off the wall and then stay close with it. I'm gonna force a 50-50. Oh, teammate's right there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're moving on. I don't need to talk about that one. Uh, what a great fake here. Yep, that's what that was. Good fake. We're at four goals. Maybe doing a little bit too much, but honestly, my, my teammate's doing just as much as well. I don't really feel like I'm doing like more than him. Um, obviously, that first little play, he scored. Bit of an awkward pass middle from my teammate, but it's okay. Bit of a miss from Filthy as well, so now we have some space. The opponent also commits i'm not gonna score this if it pops in middle i'm just gonna back off see what happens here good start so here now the ball rolls to me once again just waiting for the, the opponent to throw the ball away pop over one get a 50 50. both the uh both the opponents are kind of all over the ball right now but all i need to do is just possess uh you know hold on possession and then uh you know play from there that's a really high ball obviously in that situation uh filthy can't really do much so i'm not too threatened by the ball rolling across pop off backboard good defensive touch by homie there just pop off the backboard see what happens we're up a lot of goals here so like i said don't need to be forcing for any goals i've talked about this in the past the way you play could change depending on what you want to do you don't want to play scared or anything but you don't have to force like certain touches towards goal and stuff um, you can play around the, the opponents because they're going to be expecting shots on goal and stuff. So, you want to play behind. Right here, I see no one's on the ball. Homie's coming in. It's a good challenge. A lot of the times when I'm making those kind of challenges, I'm playing it in a way where uh, my car will also be hit by his car so I can be hit bumped back uh, towards the ball where it's being sent. It's a decent hit from the opponent, but it ends up popping it to uh, the other player. I'm gonna sky this <laughs> just because why not or four goals up good try from the opponent or my teammate it's a high ball pop off backboard see what filthy wants to turn homie's kind of taking it so right here i want to i want to position a little bit close it's a high ball i want to see if my teammate wants to take it it's a good try we'll stay with this there's no one on the ball right now i'll roll it around the wall see how they're just hitting that ball around the wall you know causes a lot of issues when they're trying to challenge aggressively um you can play into the fact that you're up goals also when you're in the situation that the opponents are gonna be rushing a little more for certain things and you can kind of play around that so a bit of a bad touch here but i'll, I'll recover it by throwing it to the left side see my teammate throws it across so that's a bit of an awkward ball it should be filthy's ball first 
So we're gonna wait behind and then see what he does. And then go for the next one. I'm kinda smothering them right now because of these like fake challenges and just positioning further away. Good try there. You can smother people under pressure by just existing and not doing much. Like right here, just faking and then backing off. Like it seems like I'm being more involved, but I'm not. A bit of a tough situation. Obviously I could have followed that with boost, but they didn't make a touch. Let's pop it up and see if they make a touch. It's a good try. I don't think I just see how I'm just positioning in mid. Just faking this. Just waiting waiting for my teammate to come in. Good challenge. There we go. It's a good try. I'm literally just existing in middle. That's all I'm doing. I'll move behind my teammate, see if he wants to turn. Bit of an awkward turn, but let's pop it up. See if my teammate wants to finish it. Nice shot. Nice play. Um, obviously, I could have shot that and just scored it because it was pretty open. Nene is under the ball. Just popped it up. See if my teammate wants to follow it. There we go. So it's looking like it's going to be like the, the end of this episode. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how to explain this episode, honestly. But I hope you guys learned something, uh, at least. <laughs> I learned that queuing at 6 a.m. is not a good idea. That's for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That's episode number 22. Uh, be sure to catch up with any episodes you missed, because I do explain different things. I try to bring up different concepts and stuff in different episodes. But until next time, have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one.